Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Faces of the Jewelry Quarter and I'm here at the BAJ in the SA office uh, with three lovely ladies and I'm going to ask you all to introduce yourself actually to all our viewers um, starting with yourself. Okay, so I'm Miranda Sharp and I'm a tutor and assessor here at BAJ and I also make jewellery as well. Lovely. I'm uh, Sarah Arnold, I'm um, a manufacturer, tutor, assessor and IQA. Uh, I am, my name is Cherney and I teach level three in manufacture uh, jewellery and I also work part time in a manufacturing. Okay, thank you very much. So you're all experts in jewellery basically, that's good to hear. Yeah. So for those people that didn't know what the BAJ standard for, it is to do with jewellery. And um, I was just wondering if you could just explain a little bit more about the history of BAJ, um, what are you all about really? So um, initially we started in London uh, about 20 years ago now um, with a London based um, jewellery company um, who branched out and started um, the academy which was all focused about um, teaching people the technical skills um, of jewellery making and we haven't veered away from that, we've, we've stuck to that ethos um, for 20 years now. Um, we were bought by a new company about two years ago um, and we were rebranded last year um, as the British Academy of Jewellery. Very good and so start off in London, you're now in Birmingham mm -hmm. and you're now in this beautiful facility of the brand new assay mm -hmm. yep. which is pretty yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, and um, I've noticed that you've got all the obviously the workbenches behind it, I take it this is where all the teaching takes place. Yep. Yes it is. Um, and I've been around the jewellery quarter for a little bit and I've, I've been into some older retailers and manufacturers and, and the benches look pretty much the same, obviously these are a bit cleaner <laughs> I must say but um, they're pretty much the same um, but I presume some of the tools and stuff have, have sort of developed over the years do you are there some sort of more modern technology tools going on uh, with the basic manufacturing tools that probably still be the same so what our students will be using will be pretty much the same as they would use uh, been using years ago but technology's probably changed mm. hasn't it so yes. there's um, there's 3d printing and even we even have a compressor setting tools now, so you can cut it like a cheese instead of normal setting tools by hand, so you push right. it by hand. Uh, so there is loads of different technology that you can use. But the, the, the fundament, fundamentals are still pretty yes. much the traditional kind yes. of skills and the tools that were, were yeah. taught yeah. And mm -hmm. it's 100 years by ago. by having those skills as well help you to be better, say, with the modern technology. Yeah. So if you understand how a piece is made, by hand, um, you can design it better, say in CAD as well. Sure. Mm. Okay. And um, what what is it you offer here? So obviously it's training. Is it? Is it I mean apprenticeships, diplomas. What what exactly? What kind of what kind of things do you offer people? And um, we offer both. So um, we start off with level two. Um, that's a diploma, um, which is a new course which we started running at the moment. Actually, about three weeks ago it started. And that's all about preparing people to go on to an apprenticeship, and that would be at a level three. So they're all accredited qualifications, so SQA and City and Guilds. Um, so the course started, yeah, three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. That's level two, and then they'll go on to do a level three apprenticeship. So um, that's that's what it is in um, Birmingham and then in London you can do level two, three and four as mm -hmm. well and you can venture into um, computer aided design as well and that's um, a level three qualification. Okay and um, how long do these kind of courses take? They range so our course um, level two, six months, six months yeah, yeah. Okay. and then part time. The, yeah. Yes yeah. And then the level three um, diploma, that's nine months. And then if you do an apprenticeship, that's so one yeah. year and one day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. So the level, the level two is a year, isn't it? Level three, yeah. the new level three will be 18 months. Okay. Um, and what, what kind of people usually come onto this course or uh, who put the people onto this course? We get, we've got quite a wide variety of ages, haven't we? Mm. So, um, we get young people obviously who are looking for a career path or who've got a passion about jewellery already and want to get into the industry. People who are looking to change careers. Mm, yeah. Um, and also you get um, local jewellers sort of putting members of staff on, onto the yeah, courses as yeah. well, just trying to upskill. Yeah, so, it, so with uh, apprenticeships we have people who are already employed by a company and then they send them to us to do the apprenticeship to, to build up their training etc. Or, or we have people who will come to us as candidates and then we will help them to find employment. 
Yeah, yeah. and I think you mentioned earlier that the, the kind of um, demographics of the people that are on your course, are, that there's still a lot of young people coming through and it's probably even more so as getting younger and younger, would you say? Yes. Mm. Yeah. So during uh, um, at my company that I work at man manufacturing, there is loads of young people coming in and either we train them in-house or they are actually thinking of sending it to the academy here mm. to get trained. Mm. So they've been contacting the managers here. I think what you're finding a little bit in industry is a lot of the people with the skills are getting older mm -hmm. yeah. and so now there's that real need for young people to come in and, people and, see it. and pick up and learn those skills. And people so definitely see it as a sort of a career, I think the yeah, jewellery recently course. it's been recognised that it is worth it to bring students in because before when I first started there was no such a thing as bring mm -hmm. student in to actual work. Mm -hmm. They don't trust no student but now it's actually recognised for youngsters to actually be trained. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And work in house. And you've got a good success rate of people coming onto courses and, and continuing their career, mm -hmm. staying in employment and, and, and progressing things. So yeah. Yeah. Which, which is great, which is what it's all about. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and and if people did want to sort of uh, progress their career and, and do an apprenticeship or a diploma, how would they go about it? I mean, do you have open days or do they just phone up, walk in? How do you normally do it? Um, Usually just phoning, um, speaking to one of us or um, a colleague and booking a tour. So you can have a one-to-one -one tour, come around the academy, see the workshop, see us in action. Usually you'll be, you'll be teaching. Um, we've got a cabinet downstairs full of um, alumni students work. So you can come and see that. In London there are um, actual open days. So um, it's, a, it's a bigger academy down there. There's a lot more to take people around. So they do have open days there. Um, but that's something which we could certainly do do here. So just keep an eye on the website and social media. Mm -hmm. And we do we do uh, go out to uh, particular events. So we're going to an event um, in March, which is about um, job opportunities, job mm -hmm. fairs, that sort of thing, yeah. and, and where people can have a go mm. with some tools and things and find out about what we do, what we can offer. You know, I suppose it's going out there and educating people um, that this is another route to their career, so mm -hmm. they don't have to go to university, I, I presume. Mm -hmm. um, and this is this is probably an industry that they really want to get hold of, but that they probably just don't know how. So this is yeah. obviously a good good place to start, awareness. I think. Yeah. Um, another awareness thing, I think you're, you're running an event now at the Spring Fair. Yes, yeah, well? yeah, yeah. Um, so you do that every year, do you, or is it? Yeah, we did it last year as well. Um, I had a bench last year and I was working away um, and then this year we've also, we haven't got a bench this year but we have got um, a stand and a member of staff there who can answer questions. Okay, so I take it you're all making jewellery still yourself? Yes. yes. So I'm just trying to check out now your earrings. <laughs> I hope this wasn't bought at Topshop or something, it's got to be all handmade. Handmade, yeah. Right, fair play. So um, thanks for your time. I appreciate you uh, coming in, or letting us come in and speak to you and uh, hopefully I'll have a good look around afterwards. So thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye. Bye.